In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on improving a video when it comes in raw, much too dark, much too dim. Please look at the following example where you'll see the contrast. Then we'll show you some things that you can do that might help you if you're facing that kind of situation. I have my clip, my pre-cut, I put it on track number one. And let's go to our Fix Enhance tools above the timeline. Now the tendency is to simply go into the color adjustment and crank up the exposure. And that will work to a degree. So we'll take this and we'll move it to the right. And it looks okay there, but when we move farther into our project, it tends to blow out the light part of her and his face and everything over here. I found out if you double click on the name of the control, it will return it to normal. Before we work with anything in the color adjustment layer, we'll take that off, we're going to go to lighting adjustment. For that would be helpful here because here we have backlight. So we're going to modify this because we have all these lights on the ceiling shooting against the wall. It's like almost shooting into the sun. So I'm going to increase the positive here. That will give me a little more light in the foreground without doing a lot of damage. Now we're going to lose a little bit in his face, but we can pick that up again. So with making that adjustment on backlight, now we'll go to our color adjustment area. Now instead of working on exposure, one thing I'd like to do is work on my shadow control. And I need to slide this over just a bit so you can see here's the maximum. Let's take our shadow control and move it to about 50%. And now what it's doing is it's working simply on the shadows. You notice the lighter tone here in her outfit. That's really nice. Now it will tend to make it a little bit flat, so we're going to compensate for that. But what I'd also like to do then is I'm going to increase the sharpness just a little bit so we have a little more edginess back into this. And the light on here, this is pale, washed out a bit. Instead of using saturation, which will increase every color, I'm just going to use the vibrancy slider and move that a little bit to the right. We've got a little more color here, a little more color on the panel on his shirt. His face isn't quite so blown out now. So that's what the vibrancy does. I'm also going to increase the contrast just a little bit. So we have the contrast up and the sharpness up. We've worked on the shadow. Another thing we could do if we want is highlight healing. That takes care of the highlights that are too bright or washed out. So if I take the slider and move it to the right, it will kind of dim some of those highlights. It actually will take the light here and the light from the light in the upper left corner and turn it to a slightly gray white rather than a pure white. It also will soften a little bit what we have on the wall and maybe on the back of this guy's slacks. But now we have a much better, a much more flavored look. And if I play this now, it looks like they're in a room that I could be in. I can see my way around. It's just a nice improvement by making these simple changes. So when you're looking in a situation where you have dim raw footage, these are some of the tools, if you use them discreetly, well, they will make a difference and improve the outcome of your video project quite a bit. 